courage. I wrote some words down and had some, actually, Andrew wrote me a little bit of a poem before coming here, and I want to share a couple of these things and with you. Be strong and of good courage. We're believers. We're God's sons. We fight. Brother Ken, you're a historian of some sort of a sort. And you know in the South, we're fighters. My part of the country is Stonewall Jackson country. Stonewall Jackson said, I'm as safe on the battlefield as I am at home on my pillow. <clears throat> we don't back up. Nor do we back down. We fought. He shelters us under his wings. He fights our battles. He wins our wars. We cast Satan out with Holy Ghost boldness. He hath authorized us and empowered us to use the name of Jesus for any need at any time and we believe him. Taking him at his word by the authority and casting the Satan out. Reminding him of who we are. We have declared, we have been declared by God's vindicated prophet that we are an invincible army. Never be defeated. He wins our battles. He is our victory. Brother Branham said we've watched him as a healer. Now watch him as a warrior. It's the fight that's in the dog. That's what counts. It's the faith in the individual. If you're a coward, get back to your little cuddle hole. I like how the Brother Branham said, if you're a coward, just get back to your little cuddle hole. If you're a soldier, stand out there and battle on. Right and wrong is engaged. Let's fight. We're not a bunch of sissy wimpy. This age may be full of sissy wimpy. We're not that. Of, of, of courage. When we talk about courage, we, we think about a man named David. And he really wasn't concerned when he, when he walked off of the hill about what they would do at his funeral. Saul was backslidden and he had all kind of armor and he should have been the one fighting. I want you to remember Goliath could have stood there for years with that group of people. But where he got in trouble was he opened that mouth when David showed up. <laughs> and he, no doubt that morning, people that looked at him and thought he was such a great champion and watched him as he ate his dozen eggs that morning and his bacon and admired his great big muscles and he put on his his sleeves and his chest and his armor and they admired what a phenomenal warrior he was they didn't realize today was the last day that he was going to eat those eggs and eat that bacon and put on that armor But today was going to be his last day of boasting. Satan, I want you to listen to this sermon. If any bride is prepared, we are. I don't care what we face. 
It may hurt. It may sting. Future things, we don't know what we're going to have to face. But if God be for me, who can be against me? Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 8 said, And the Lord, He it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee. Neither will He forsake thee. Fear not. Neither be dismayed. Brother Branham says, When you get, when you got the message, keep going. He said, say, I can't walk up again and I know I'm getting weak. Just keep going. Don't stop. Lay it, lay it aside everything. Just keep threatening through, brother. You got a sword in your hand. Just keep chopping. He said, I went to a football stadium one time and was going to preach. And I stopped at the door and looked up and, and it said, it's not the size of the dog that's in the fight. It's the size of the fight that's in the dog. So that's what it means to win the battle. on no days to take off keep pressing the battle you knew that it was going to get darker you knew that it was going to get more difficult you knew this wasn't Hollywood you knew that there was going to be challenges in your way but something that was predestinated before the foundation of the world ignited in your heart and it's not you holding on but it's him holding on to you One of us have an adversary the scripture mentions fear in the in the scripture 600 times so it's real Satan's not a paper tiger he's orchestrated he's a tool in the hand of God but I want to remind him here tonight that my God is infinite million times greater than he is You would have given up. You would have quit. You would have walked away. But that seed gene of life that God put there before the foundation of the world, nothing can stop it. The scripture tells us that they cut their heads off. It didn't stop them. They burned them at the stake. It didn't stop them. They fed them the lines and it didn't stop them. But I want to tell you, young people to the oldest person in this building, take courage. Courage is under attack in this hour. It's absolutely under attack. But let me just say this to you. Read the book. 
that tells you who you are. bride is prepared we are I don't care what we face it may hurt it may sting future things we don't know what we're going to have to face but if God be for me who can be against me Deuteronomy chapter 31 in verse 8 said in the Lord he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee. Neither will he forsake thee. Fear not. Neither be dismayed. Brother Branham says, when you get, when you got the message, keep going. He said, say, I can't walk up again and I know I'm getting weak. Just keep going. Don't stop. Lay it, lay it aside everything. Just keep threatening through, brother. You got a sword in your hand, just keep chopping. He said, I went to a football stadium one time and was going to preach, and I stopped the, the door and looked up, and, and then said, it's not the size of the dog that's in the fight. It's the size of the fight that's in the dog. So that's what it means to win the battle. Sometimes it just takes courage to step from that, that realm of humanity and to take God at his word.
say sometimes difficulty gets right in your face. You don't realize as a minister sometimes what's going on behind the scene and the, the struggles that you're having just to walk to the pulpit. And you know within yourself you can't do anything. But we have an almighty God. Oh, the Brown said, there you are. Take the word of God and cut your way through every doubt. If that's the next job, let's get it done. The next thing I'll, I'm going to do is get away from my doubts. Cut it down. That's my next job, is to get away from all my frustrations away. If my senses tell me, well, you feel bad, the next thing to do is cut that thing away. It just takes courage to step from that, that realm of humanity and to take God at his word.